Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Isle of Man in the UK. This is John and Mike's MMA Corner. Okay, Jordan Hernandez, you, you're joining me now. You're fighting on the Shamrock FC card against Jacob Adkin. Now, the, the pair of you are probably both looking to start 2016 with a big massive lovely W I'd imagine a nice big win uh, is yeah, this that's, so, that's the goal here that's the goal so you've so what have you been doing then over December because it was Christmas period you had Thanksgiving then the Christmas period and then obviously you've had a bit of time to get yourself prepped how have you dedicated yourself to get make sure this happens then I do what how have you dedicated yourself to make sure you get this win yeah, I've been training cardio a lot and keeping my regimen straight and in order. You know, keeping my schedule on lock and not missing anything at all. Trying to train it all, you know, get prepared in every way I can for this fight. Because obviously, you know, you've 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 had a couple, you've had a few losses in a row. Now, what are you trying to do to rectify that? Then, what is it specifically that you've been doing? Because you've obviously, you've, there's been something missing in your game. What have you been trying yeah, to add? Been ground and. Take down defense, basically. Uh-huh. A lot of ground, a lot of submission defense, because that's what my last few fights, my dad falls in is submissions. So I've been working to stay off the ground, and if it hits the ground, get right back up mm. and keep the submissions from happening. So your goal is just to have a stand-up fight. You feel your strongest is when you're on your feet, throwing your hands and throwing your feet. That or I take it to the ground on my offensive. Yeah, and maybe try to apply ground and pound, etc. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. For the most part, I'd like to keep this one on the feet. And is that because of is this because of your background or something that you've got? You feel you've got a stronger, you've got a stronger uh, standing game than you have ground game. You've got a background yeah. in stand up in any way. Well, the crazy thing is, I have more background in ground than ground. I have 13 years of wrestling on the ground and but I've had about I've been grew up in a family of boxers so I mean that's probably why I feel so much stronger on my feet you know because I grew up boxing my whole life I suppose the combination of the yeah the the combination of the wrestling and the boxing it'll it'll give you heavy hands then I'd imagine you've got you must have pretty good heavy hands when you're throwing them yeah 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 Definitely, for a 135 pounder, I can hit pretty hard. I suppose, yeah, that's the thing with the 130, uh, with with that division, that weight classes around there. Guys are quite light on their feet, and they're quite light. There's, it's not often you find guys like John Lineker. Is probably the probably him and Brad Pickett are possibly round pound for pound the heaviest hitters in the lower weight classes. That if you think of the big names in 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 mixed martial arts. Those guys hit like freight trains, and it's not very often you see guys hit hard. And John Dobson as well; he's probably a good, he's probably a heavy hitter as well. Yeah, but yeah, it's not very often you find a really heavy-handed lightweight or bantamweight for that. So, do you feel as well that like the cardio was an aspect that you need to work on as well? Oh, I missed that. What was that? Do you feel that the cardio was an aspect you need to work on too? Because you mentioned that you're doing yes. a lot of cardio. Yes, that, that's definitely what I've been focusing on. Because a lot of my fights in the last few ones haven't went out of the first round, so I'm trying to change that to, you know, keeping the cardio on lock. So if they do go past, it's not a problem. Ah, oh, I see, I see. And do, have you went back to your wrestling? And what I mean by that is, have you been working back kind of just fundamentals in wrestling to help with the takedown defense and stuff? I, I missed that again, sorry. I mean, I get terrible service where I'm at right now. Oh, no, not a problem, friend. I will repeat that happily. Do you feel that you are working on your, specifically on wrestling, uh, just the takedown defense? Have you went back to the kind of fundamentals of wrestling to get that defense well yeah. improved? Yeah, just the, the basic takedown defense, really. I mean, the basics usually I figure work the best, honestly, because they've been around for however 
however long, and they've been working this long, so I've been, I've definitely got to work on that, and I have been. So with my cardio and the takedown defense, I don't think it shouldn't hit the ground unless I take it down. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say because if you've got the, you've already got the experience in the wrestling, you've already got quite a lot of knowledge then. In, with that so you can always yeah. just switch to the fun and, and the thing is like you say it sometimes really is best just to go back to the fundamentals because you see guys in MMA they'll do spectacular moves they'll do these spinning kicks and all these... oh yeah like crazy, crazy yeah crap. and at the end of the day do you know what nine times out of ten most fights win with a straight one two a nice jab and a right straight yeah. or like depending on if you're a southpaw or whatever but it, usually that combination is, or, or the left hook, you know, you throw a one, two, three, you know, simple jab, straight, hook. And it's a simple combination that will always work time and time again. Or the double hook, you know, you throw a hook to the body and then the arm comes down, you throw a hook over the shoulder, crack him on the chin, bish, bash, bosh, you get yourself a nice little win. Right, yeah, it's just, you know, they work and they've been proven to work, so. Yeah. And I think it's a wise thing, probably going back to like the fundamentals of the wrestling, uh, even you know simple fundamentals on defense on the ground, just to get yourself back up. Some people do get carried yeah. away with the training, and you do sometimes forget the principles and the the fundamentals of how they, you know, help how it got them to the level that they're at to be able to do the crazy stuff. You know, sometimes it's good to go back to go forward. Right. You always got to refresh on what you've learned to fully remember everything. Yeah, Correctly. exactly. I, I still, to this day, shrimp. I will go in, and part of my warm-up is shrimping up and down the room, the mats. Yeah. Like, just constantly do it for, like, several minutes. Just, I and you know what? I get bored. It drives me insane. It just, you know, it's nothing. You know, you're not doing anything exciting. It's a bit mundane. But what it does, it gets in that muscle memory, no matter how much it sucks. All right, yeah. The muscle memory is... A lot of it too. Yeah, exactly. So as soon as where someone, you can do where you can do something without thinking about it. Yeah, and that's the key. You know, as soon as someone sits on, someone gets mount, I'll shrimp out all day long or half guard. I can just shrimp away, shrimp away, and it it's effortless. Yeah. Then it's effortless, and that's the key. And it is drill. You know, it, it is a big thing. So for you to, like I say, for you to come to 2016 now and get it off to a great start. You know, you've just went yeah. back to fundamentals and just drilled them. And do you know what? The simple things will work. Yeah, that's what I believe. And did you did do you feel then that like, you know, you kind of you can wipe the slate clean starting with two thousand sixteen? Is that the kind of thought, the process going into it? Yeah, I mean, basically just start over. You know, start over, new slate from the beginning, basically. And is you it know, your was it your coach was it your coach that said that you need to work on these fundamental bits or was this something yourself you you noticed it's, watching it's, footage? Uh, it's something that I I decided I I figured you know watching my tape watching all the other things thinking back on the old fights is mm. they basically stuck out like a sore thumb you know it's just I need to go back retrain retrain what I what I already know but just bring it back yeah. Because, yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes guys won't watch their footage, their own footage, or they won't be honest with themselves about what went wrong. They'll they'll proclaim that maybe, oh, I had the flu, or, oh, I was thinking about paying my gas bill, or whatever, or I think I left the oven on, or, you know, that, you know silly right. things. You know, a lot of guys won't be honest enough about maybe where they felt they went wrong. They maybe feel that the guy just got lucky, you know. And yeah, the, right. the, the key is, you know, you've got to humble yourself. You've got to say... I'm not the best. I'm not the most complete fighter. What do I need to work on and accept that? And when you do, I tell you what, you improve a lot more when you do do that. Yeah. The best critic is yourself. Yeah. You know, the best person to criticize yourself is you. So. I'm with you on that. I agree completely, Jordan, man. Uh, honestly, it'll make a huge difference. And the, the thing with Shamrock FC, that they're looking at, you know, this year to, to expand themselves on the kind of the availability to watch the shows so for guys like yourself when yeah. you start to get on here you've got a bit you, it seems like the platform goes up a little bit higher because you've got more exposure you can you can really showcase more of your skill set in the sense of look if I can beat people with a simple one-two process and snuff a takedown and beat a guy standing 
people are going to love that and people will talk about it so you've got a good opportunity here a good opportunity to start off 2016 good anyway hell yeah so look ladies and gentlemen Jordan Hernandez is going to throw down at this Shamrock FC card on January 16th sir before you go away I want to say have a great fight enjoy your time there enjoy the whole weekend but before you do have you got any social media stuff that people can jump onto what was that? Have you got any social media that people can jump onto and follow? Uh, just me on Facebook, that's about it. <laughs> no, nope. that's fine, that's fine. So what about, have you got any sponsors that help you out? Any Anyone there? Uh, well, I got, you know, get up and fight gear in Blue Valley Garage over in Kansas City. And I want to thank them for all the help they give me. So... Um, and what about your training partners people that help you out coach you any, any people like that that kind of uh, been kind of fundamental in your training camps yeah you know, I'd like to say you know my best training partner is one of my friends Nate Gosson he's not fighting on this card I tried to get him on but uh, he's one of the, you know I've wrestled with him my whole life so he's the best one to go back to fundamentals with <laughs> Look, Jordan, it sounds like you've obviously been focused, you've been honest with yourself, and you're looking to address 2016 in a serious manner. So, like I said, have a great time at Shamrock FC. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you.